Hey, what's up? Uh, so today I wanted to talk to you about something I've been working on for about a month. Um, so long time ago I, I started off with uh, game development using XNA, but it's been deprecated since like 2014 or 2015, something like that. Um, so when I was searching for a replacement, I started with uh, Mono Game and FNA, but I wasn't really satisfied with the way they worked and it was a little awkward to use. So what I landed on was Sharp DX Toolkit. So there's this toolkit piece of Sharp DX that was almost identical to XNA. So that's what I've been using for years and years now, uh, probably four years now. Um, but that has been deprecated also a long time ago. So pretty much any any graphics framework I start using gets deprecated. So. Uh, I guess that's sad news for anyone who likes Direct2D because that's what I've started using here. Um, so what we got here, this isn't any sort of gameplay at all. Uh, this is just like a graphics test to make sure that it uh, can, you know, produce the sort of performance that I was wanting. Um, so I'll take a look here. Uh, I'm using my uh, performance monitoring stuff to so the, the, the drawing is pretty fast. Um, and what I wanted to do is crank it up to... So right now, each, uh, each of these little... I'm calling them fireflies. I don't know what they are. They're just uh, dumpy-looking little circles. Um, each one of them has a background and a foreground, and it draws all the backgrounds first, and then all the foregrounds. Um, and there's 100 of them on the screen right now, which means the sprite count is at 200. So here we are with uh, 10,000 of these little firefly dudes, and uh, that means the sprite counts at 20,000. And uh, the draw performance is really good. It's uh, sitting at about uh, four milliseconds. Um, and since we're targeting 60 frames per second, that means that uh, we have about 16 milliseconds per frame to work with. Um, so that's really good performance. Let's compare it to the previous implementation. So, so here's the same example with uh, 20,000 fireflies on the old toolkit stuff. Um, the font rendering is all weird here because I, for some reason I decided I needed to draw my own fonts to make it go faster, which didn't really help. <laughs> but uh, so this is at uh, 6.2 milliseconds. The new thing is 4.1. So it's faster. Um, really what I wanted was something that's not deprecated and can draw fonts without having to do it manually. I mean, the toolkit thing can do fonts, but it had to work with uh, these things that are holdovers from XNA called sprite fonts that I never really liked. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm going to dump this thing and move over to Direct2D entirely because I'm really happy with the performance. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you uh, is what kinds of stuff you can do with Direct2D. So on the Windows Store, there's uh, this uh, Win2D example gallery. Win2D is like a UWP version of Direct2D that works with C Sharp and C++. Um, and so I was going to take a look at that with you guys to show you know what kinds of hardware accelerated stuff you can do in 2D using DirectX. Um, so let's take a look. So here's Win2D. Um, and so Win2D itself is completely open source, as is this example gallery. So if there's something you see here that you want to figure out how to do with Direct2D, looking at the, uh, the example gallery source is a great way to, to get there. Um, it's not directly you know, one-to-one -one with Direct2D. Win2D is meant to be like a, a thin layer over Direct2D, um, but the, the actual Sharp DX uh, Direct2D implementation is going to get you a little bit closer to the metal than this, but this is still about as close as you're going to get to having thorough examples of how to do uh, Direct2D stuff in C-sharp. Um, and there's all sorts of cool stuff. You can play around with it yourself. Um, it's, you know, it gives examples on how to draw images quickly, how to use different brushes and effects, how to interop with Direct3D. Um, and in general it's just pretty useful um, yep. 
Uh, so one other thing, I try it now. UWP for me is a little bit of a deal breaker right now because uh, UWP, from what I've heard, doesn't play nice with Steam. So my thing is all uh, Win32, um, but this is still useful. I did try to uh, implement that test uh, that test application in Win2D as well, so we can take a look and see how that does. Um, from what I found, it wasn't as good of performance. Yeah, so it's about twice as bad as the toolkit version. Um, but it's possible that I might not be using it correctly. Uh, I am using the sprite batch within Win2D, but uh, the performance still isn't great. Um, and so the only other thing I wanted to mention, uh, in the description below I have a uh, GitHub gist of a uh, post of uh, a really boiled down example of how to set up the sprite batch and use it. Um, and it's something worth checking out. Um, you're going to want to have C++ and uh, Windows SDK installed if you're interested in doing this. Um, that'll enable the debug layer. And I can show you more of that. Let's look at that. Um, well, before we get to that, so here's the uh, sort of the API for Win2D. You can see it, it has a lot of really simple stuff. Just draw a bitmap, draw a rectangle, draw text, uh, draw a rounded rectangle. Um, so all that is nice for uh, you know doing user interfaces. And then the sprite batch is what you want to use for uh, doing you, you know drawing your world if you're doing game development. Um, and so you, you're going to have to set up a whole bunch of stuff. And this is in that example code. I, I put down below, but I wanted to call out a few things. Like you're going to be setting up a swap chain and uh, resizing the swap chain whenever your screen resizes and setting up all the factories and devices for DirectX. Um, but there's a few really important pieces I wanted to show you. Uh, here's one of them. So you need to have this debug flag on if you want to get the debug layer information like we were talking about before. Um, and then a key piece to get the sprite batch working is you can't use per primitive anti-aliasing. So you have, to, and that's the default. So you have to include this one line here um, to make sure that it's it's not doing that. Otherwise, the sprite batch will just explode when you try to use it. Um, but the 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 way I found this line of code was I turned on the debug layer. And there's another piece too. There's another piece. This is important. Um, you go to properties for your project, debug, and then you got to have enable native code debugging or else the debug layer stuff won't print to your output window down here. Um, yep. So uh, if you're interested in uh, doing C sharp stuff, uh, game development that gets about as close to the metal as, as C sharp goes, uh, sharp DX is a really great path uh, to go down. Um, for 2D, but also for 3D. There, I mean, Sharp DX has all the, you know, Direct X11, Direct X12 stuff in it too. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you have any like technical questions on how to set up C Sharp with uh, Direct 2D, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I've I've learned the hard way with a lot of stuff. So I'd be happy to to field any questions you have. Okay. Thanks for watching.